It is so fake. Hey guys, welcome to Try Tea Tuesday where we talk about all things, just everything. We talk about every subject. I'm excited to have you here. I norm normally come to you from my dining room, but this is my last day with my couch. I'm getting a new couch tomorrow, so I figured I would come to you from my living room. I wanted to talk to you about social media. It is so fake. Oh my gosh. I've just been like, I'm in this point right now in my life where I'm so over it, but I love it at the same time. So we'll get into that in a minute. First, I wanted to give my shout out of the week. Shout out to Carlos Herrera. Thank you for your comment on my last video when we talked about how to um, win a pageant even if you're on a budget. And Carlos's comment had a great piece of advice. He said, you could also tell them just to be yourself. And I was like, oh yeah, duh. I think I said that in a previous video, but that is a very good point. You need to love yourself and be yourself first. So thanks for the comment, Herrera. Ra uh, Carlos Herrera and um, for anyone that comments below here today, I will be shouting one of you out on next week's video. Question of the week before we get into our topic. Should I keep these Tuesday episodes Chai Tea Tuesday or should I make it Real Talk Tuesday? Because I feel like sometimes we just get into some real talk and I lay it out for you guys. But Chai Tea is kind of like my thing, except for today when I'm drinking emergency because I'm sick. So yeah, normally it's chai tea. Let's get right on into the social media talk, okay? First of all, point number one, I'm gonna give you three points real quick and easy. I'm just tired of it, that's not the point. It's just a thing. Um, I, it's like a love-hate relationship. I absolutely love social media. Shout out to my 200,000 followers. I love you guys so much. I just hit 200,000, it's so exciting. But I, do feel like a lot of social media is very fake. Speaking of being fake on social media, not being fake, but the photos are not always 100% real. I'm gonna be posting a video on how I edit my Instagram photos. So there you go, adding to all the craziness that is social media. But a lot of the people that most of us follow are the influencers with hundreds of thousands or millions of followers. Quite often they have a theme, so they filter and edit all their photos to be kind of within the same theme, color scheme and all of that. So many people just look perfect. And I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm over it. Oh my gosh, I'm just having a day. Can you guys tell? I literally look at photos on Instagram and I'm like, oh my gosh, she's so perfect. And oh my gosh, all these things that I know better, but I've been having some moments lately. So shout out to all you girls that have ever been in my shoes where I'm at right now. I want to let you know that these people that we see, they don't always have a great day and they're not always perfect, myself included. I only post the good stuff on Instagram. Gotta be honest, yesterday I was sitting at home sick as whatever, sick, sick as a cow, is that what people say? Super sick, sitting at home and like posting cute old photos. But that's not how I was feeling or looking. But it was definitely facetuned a little bit and definitely filtered and edited. So I just want to let you know and I hope it can be a bit of a comfort to any girls or even men out there that look out and you have FOMO or you compare yourself to these people on social media to know that it's not all as it seems and they definitely didn't wake up like that. Like my hair looks I mean, to me, it looks like super effortless, but like super cute. Yeah, no, I went and I got a blowout and I got a beachy wave. And this morning before I got my blowout, I had not washed my hair in four and a half days. My husband would be like, I can't believe you told them that. It's true. So, you know, I just want to let you guys know that it's not all real. Um, point number two, I'm totally making this up as I go, by the way. Point number two. Okay, point number two is FOMO. Comment below if you've ever had FOMO from Instagram. I have like friends recently that I saw at lunch and I was like, I wasn't invited. What the heck? We've been talking about having lunch for a week. Or, you know, I really love travel and I see all these girls on these travel trips that have less followers than me and I'm like, oh, why am I not there? Why am I not traveling? So FOMO can easily happen on social media and I think it's important to take it back and be thankful and grateful for where you're at. 
um, and that is something that can really help that is gratitude. I, I've really, really, really learned that having a heart and a, a mindset of gratitude just helps reset everything and definitely helps the FOMO a lot. Point number three, my last point of the day. <sighs> I think this emergency is giving me some energy out of nowhere. Point number three is take a break. Please comment below. I know I'm asking you to comment so much today. Comment below if you ever do social media breaks. Daniel is currently on a 21 day social media fast. We're both fasting. Um, I'm fasting from other things. But um, I took a social media break at the beginning of the year and it was so nice not to be comparing myself to what my other friends are doing or where they're at or how cute their New Year's photos are. And um, it was, a place in a time where I could really focus on what's important to me. I could spend more time reading, more quality time with my family and my friends that were close by. So taking a break is really important. If you have not ever taken a social media break and you feel like you're addicted to it, go ahead and do it, girlfriend or guy friend, whoever's watching. Social media breaks are so, so, so helpful and they really help you reset and get your priorities straight, what's really important to you. And after I took my social media break, I felt like I was more aware when I was on social media and was able to put it down more often and more easily. So try it out. That's my challenge for you on today's Chai Tea Tuesday. I have no subject ready for next week, guys. So please comment below. Oh my gosh, you guys, I would die if you all left like three comments. That would be hilarious. But comment below and let me know what we should talk about next week on Chai Tea Tuesday. And if I should have a guest. And if so, who? But like, be realistic. Like, I'm not gonna get my girl, Olivia Copo. Love her, but she's a busy girl. Um, so be realistic. You guys are my friends. You know who I hang out with. You see them on social media. So if you want to have a guest next Tuesday, let me know and I will try to make it happen. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in and cheers to Chai Tea Tuesday.